I didn't know who song to play, so I found another song of mine <laughs> that I probably should have pushed more if I didn't. James the Jedi, we need to shoot a video to this ASAP. This shit hard. Why didn't we shoot a video of this? This summertime, let's get it. Damn, Jake Sand. Michael Cox podcast. Turn the fuck up. Yeah. I can show no love, I got no love for them. Make them jump up off the roof if they above the rim. Growing up was tough, they told me sink or swim. Told me if I see some buffs, it's time to hit the gym. Work out on a nigga, hit your arms and chest. Let's go. Start off on the scene and figure out the rest. Call your baby mama, tell her get a dress. She said you trying to fuck me now, I said I was impressed. I'm just trying to smoke some weed and get some head, I guess. I'm trying to drop a bunch of crib and get some bread, I guess. Step daddy to your kids, watch your PBS. And if I break up with the bitch, I'm calling CPS. I ain't beefing with nobody. I ain't on no power war shit. We running this shit back, man. James, we have to shoot a video to this ASAP. Damn, Jake Sam. Perfect. We got more drops. Perfect. Michael Cox Podcast. I can't show no love, I got no love for them. Growing up was tough, they told me sink or swim. Told me if I see some buffs, it's time to hit the gym. Work out on a nigga, hit your arms and chest. Start off on the scene and figure out the rest. Call your baby mama, tell her get it dressed. She said you're trying to fuck me now, I said I was impressed. I'm just trying to smoke some weed and get some head, I guess. Trying to trap a bunch of crib and get some bread, I guess. Step daddy to your kids, watch a PBS. And if I break up with this bitch, I'm calling CPS. Low funny, low nigga, low money, uh. Come on, man. I just wanna fuck two bitches to have me a three. So what? this was so good I had the bitch scream at Jesus. Jesus. So true, you with some niggas, bitch, you ain't believe me. Small like your heart, no complaint. Tighten up your sneakers. Buy some bows, hit the road, and get you a stuff. Perfect. Two pills will have pussy for me, but I do not love her. Fuck these hoes, bust a nut, and get back in the car. What? The bitch thought I was in love. I guess she ain't smart. What? But she ain't dumb, why? Cause she fucking with me. If you fucking with me, you know I ain't fucking for free. Get some pussy to Mike, you gotta get pussy to pee. You fuck me, you fuck him, you belong to me. Pass hoes back and forth every day like seesaws No need one call ID, it's money every time I phone Niggas rings Niggas in love with hoes, but nigga that's my old thing He was talking so spicy James, we have to shoot a video To that song Jesus Christ Perfect Welcome back Welcome back to the Michael Cox Podcast I'm your host, <laughs> Michael Cox. Welcome back. Welcome back. Lovely to have you. Leave in the comments if you see a change in my lighting. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. I might have had somebody change my lighting. We here. We are here. I just got to ask y'all one question. Did you miss me? Okay. Did some upgrades to the to the podcast space. Um, hopefully, y'all won't be able to notice because it's off camera. But you know, did some changes. Michael Cox podcast. I don't know what episode it is. I'm not even gonna attempt to guess. It's a lot going on behind the scenes, but we are here. We back. Fuck. Let's get that suicide hotline number out the way. I, I should have wrote that up there too. One eight zero zero two seven three. Eight two five five. All right, we had to take a we had to take a quick intermission, but we back. Where do I want to start? Yeah, I know where I want to. I know where I want to start. 
Make sure I'm, I'm hooked up. Everything's hooked up. Everything good. Alright. I'm gonna start with the motherfucking Lakers. What's the real cheating? Now Steve Kerr can't go. Which one is it? Huh? I tell you what it is. He's like a motherfucking walker. It's Dennis Schroeder stepping up to the plate. That's what it is right now. Yeah, Steph Curry, the best player in the league. I can't tell you, cause his name is what in here. I told y'all that. Yeah, I'm out here in LA with John Moss looking for Clay, Dre, and Jordan Poole. Trash! Jordan Poole out here paying 500000 for a day. Boy, you trash! Ain't no motherfucking way. Yeah, zero point. Get his ass back out there in the Bay Area and work on his game. Talk to him. Told y'all, Lakers and Seeks. But y'all didn't want to listen to me. You don't know basketball. You ain't never played. So? So, motherfucking what? <laughs> y'all made y'all beg and lay in it. E40, where y'all ass at? Sprinkle me. Sprinkle me. Sprinkle <laughs> me, man. Yeah, where you at? 80 <laughs> stepped up. Where you at? Don't call me out no motherfucking more. Lakers and six. Trumps. Lakers and six. Shout out to the Lakers. Lakers played Golden State last night. I don't know what game we on. Um, whatever. Um, I fell asleep. This is what I watched the... I watched the Miami game from the second quarter and then by the third quarter <clears throat> shout out Slim Jackson I texted him I said bro I ain't gonna make it to the fourth I just felt it like I was tired as hell I just knew I wasn't gonna make it to the fourth so the Laker game started cause New York started coming back in the Miami game in the fourth quarter but you know, they just couldn't get it done the Laker game started like the first quarter and the website that I watched the game on, that shit crashed. I done refreshed the computer a couple times. That shit would not come back on. I'm like, man, fuck it. I just went to bed. <laughs> hey, I had yesterday off. I had today off. So I, it was what it was. I just wanted to enjoy um, my days off. But yeah, Lakers won. Uh, but I was Buddy Walker. Cause Walker showed up for us. LeBron talked about it um, in his post game interview. And again, y'all know I'm Lakers. I'm I'm, I'm ride or die, man. You know what I'm saying? Sick or swim. Kyle Kuzma said it months ago. Well, not months ago. Last month in the beginning, I just screenshot it. He said the Lakers could go all the way. A lot of people thought he was, you know what I'm saying, dick riding when he said that, just trying to get back on the team with Bron, which he probably was, you know. But it's going to be tough. It's like I told other people, if we get past Golden State, Denver is gone. It's not going to be an easy match. So that's why they're saying, well, that's why we want Phoenix to beat uh, Denver so they can play the Lakers. I don't know. I just, I, I want to run this footage back later. If we win the fucking. NBA championship, all that bubble talk <coughs> got got to cease. Like y'all acting like y'all don't want to count the bubble. It count. It count. It's in the history books. It count. Brian and AD, you know, they've been getting it done with when, with Brian getting hurt this season. AD getting hurt every other game. Like. Come on, man. Y'all got, got, got to give these boys the credit, man. They've been doing their thing. Shout out to the Lakers. I want us to win the next game and just get Gold State up out of there so we can get some rest before the uh, Phoenix and the Denver series end. I believe their game on us right now. Let me see. I still got the ESPN website up because I was trying to hurry up and get home. I've been, man, I've been going on like that. This pile was supposed to be done. So the Philly and the Boston game is about to come on right now, and it's tied up 2-2.
That should be a good watch. I'll probably catch the second half once I'm done with this. Suns and Nuggets play at 10 o'clock. Oh, there you go. NBA talk. We don't have we don't have TV show talk anymore. Bel Air is done. BMF is on a break. Snowfall is over. I ain't, I I bet shout out A. Hey, Jamie Foxx, get well soon. I have been running the Jamie Foxx show. I've been watching the Jamie Foxx show just starting it over and starting it over and starting it over. I think I'm going to keep doing it until he make a public appearance or until, you know, so he say I'm all the way back straight. I'm running the Jamie Foxx show back and back and back. I'm not watching the Wayne Brothers. I'm not watching, what else I watch? Martin, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I even stopped watching Seinfeld. Like my, just my comfort shows. We on the Jamie Foxx show until, until Buddy say he good. We just want to put that positive energy out there and get well soon. Jamie Foxx, you a legend in the game. We can't lose you. You're too valuable. I've just been running back to Jamie Foxx show. That's just what I've been on. Looking at my uh my board. I'm gonna skip that. Usher and Chris Brown. <clears throat> Let's get into it. Apparently, where do we go back to? Uh Usher threw a surprise birthday party for Chris Brown in Vegas, because you know that's where Usher's residency is in uh in Las Vegas. Bow Wow was there, Mario. Tiana Taylor, you guys seen Jermaine Dupri there, because you know if Usher there, then you know the, uh, what they used to call that stuff, Ocean's Five was in the building, I don't know if they said Melly was there or not, probably, you should know everybody who, who they rode with, Brian Michael Cox, John Tay Austin, the squad, so apparently, and it's a clip, it's a clip of this, Usher is yelling at Tiana Taylor for whatever reason, saying fuck her or some shit. I don't know. Y'all know uh, Chris Brown be tripping. <clears throat> I hope I said Chris Brown yelling at Tiana Taylor. I don't think I said, I hope I didn't say Usher. Whatever. Chris Brown yelling at Tiana Taylor, saying fuck her. Usher trying to defuse the situation. And then after that, <clears throat> they said on the way out, apparently Chris Brown and Usher exchanged words. And Chris Brown and his security team jumped Usher and left him with a, a bloody nose. That's what was said. But the next day at the Lovers and Friends Festival, Usher got on camera and was like, yo, we having a good time. Shout out to everybody who attended. Shout out to all the acts. Face looked untouched. He looked it fine. Um, not, you know, let's, whoa. Whoa. He looked at unharmed. Because I don't want y'all to, you know what I'm saying? Woo, y'all to run with that boy. Not not fine like that. Relax. Relax. Um, but yeah. Looked like he didn't get into a fight the day before. <clears throat> but then, after that, another argument ensued. Um, apparently, uh, uh what did they say? A situation popped off backstage, and again, Chris Brown in the middle with shit again. And he later came out and made a statement that he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't in the shit. He was trying to defuse it because his kids was backstage. That's what the man said. That's what the man said. And, you know, whatever. I'm not sure, but it just seemed like I don't know. Somebody made. Somebody made. I should. Fucking screenshot it. Somebody lit, made a chain of events of all the times Chris be getting in the, in the shit. I should have screenshot it, but I wasn't thinking about it. Hopefully, you know, Chris can just go on vacation. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just cool out. Because it seems like, the, you know, the media ain't done trying to tear you down for what you did, you know, 10, 15 years ago. And you just keep trying to push through adversity and ignore it. Just be the best you, but... I don't know. We'll see. Prayer, prayers to all involved, as as other podcasts say. Um, what else? Oh, shout out to King Coley. You know, I, I sent him a picture. They ain't getting no reply. And then I called him. You know, we got the you know, title Tuesday shirt on. He said he was dropping some more. So hit up King Coley. 
you need a title Tuesday shirt, follow King Kali on all uh, uh, social media platforms. Creator of Title Tuesday, you know. It's actually Title Tuesday today, so show that man some love. And we got to do that round of applause for my guy. It's at King Kali's house Sunday watching Sunday? Saturday. Watching Backlash. Um a little wrestling talk. It was a good pay per view. He uh what is this girl's name? Hold on, hold on. If y'all y'all know this, you know, every podcast I'm trying to stay off my phone. It's much. Me staying off my phone, period, would be impossible. What's this girl's name? I'm about to butcher her name. Zelina. Zelina Vega? Zelina Vega. She's in the WWE. She is fine. Um, Cody, like, how you don't know who that is? I don't watch wrestling as much as I used to. I got too much stuff going on these days. I don't watch wrestling as much as I used to. Definitely, no disrespect. I know Trish Stratus came back, but I'm not really paying attention to the women's division right now. Like, Trish Stratus is back. I know Sasha Banks left. Naomi left. <clears throat> so, I don't really know. But, old girl, she fine. I'm definitely going to pay attention to her. And, uh, you know, Liv, was Liv Morgan? Like, I pay attention to some of the females, but I'm not, I'm not really locked in how I used to be. I'm not going to lie. Um, but she had, she she did her thing on the pay-per-view. Uh, the pay-per-view was in Puerto Rico. The first time WWE has ever had an event in Puerto Rico. Bad Bunny had a match. He won. Um, a lot of old people who used to wrestle came back. Uh, Carlito popped up. Savio Vega popped up. That's my... Uh, you know, my age throwback guy. So it was just, it was it was a dope pay-per-view. I thought Roman Reigns was on the bill. He wasn't. The main event was Brock Lesnar versus uh, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes won. I know Brock attacked him last night. Because last night was Monday. That's all I kept seeing on my timeline was Brock attacking him during his match. What other matches did we do? I see. I had made a, a Arby's run, so I missed a couple matches. You know, I got there late, but overall, good pay per view. Again, SummerSlam is coming to Detroit this summer. I still have not gotten my tickets. I still have not even tried to make a pile or put money aside to buy tickets. Like I'm all over the place. I know Coley's gonna leave me. I keep asking him, like, what's the budget for SummerSlam? He's like, man, I don't know. We're we going to figure it out. Like, that's not helping me. Like, SummerSlam is in Detroit. I need to be in the building. Shout out to everybody who already got their SummerSlam tickets. I have not. It is what it is. What's next on the board? I want to. I want to stay on positive stuff. I already talked about that. Positive. It's a nice day out. It's sunny outside. This is the list of... Here we go. Got some more stuff on my phone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Sorry. Top 10 cities to start a business in in 2023. Number one, Orlando, Florida. Number two, Jacksonville, Florida. Number three, Miami, Florida. God damn, Florida. Number four, Tampa, Florida. Number five, Durham, North Carolina. Number six, Boise, Idaho. Number seven, Atlanta, Georgia. Number eight, Charlotte, North Carolina. Number nine, Fort Worth, Texas. Ten, Austin, Texas. Top ten 
cities to start a business in in 2023. I just feel like we, I need to touch on that because, again, doing this podcast, this is entrepreneurship, whatever the business is that you want to start, even if you want to up and move and go somewhere and start over, um, this is not a bad idea. And hopefully that list will help you figure out where you want to be. Because sometimes they say leaving your hometown is the move. Sometimes it's not. It just all depends on what you want to do. Some people feel like what they want to do is oversaturated. Maybe, may not be. You might need to change up your promotion, your marketing. Put more money in your promotion and marketing. Just be more creative. It's a bunch of things. Um, again, I'm still shocked that I'm even doing a podcast on whatever episode that I'm on because normally I've stopped by now like and I've been flirting with stopping again but I mean you can't sit down and talk to the camera once a week and tell people you know your thoughts and your POV on shit not really not really that hard so fuck it why not and I got two clips I want to play I almost played one I didn't want to play Tyler the Creator if you are uploading anything on anything, I don't want you to worry about what the numbers are or any of that stuff. And, well, truly, and, and any opinions from folks who don't make things or whose intent is numbers or sales or whatever the fuck, I want you to protect yourself by truly only filtering what is important there. I see a lot of you young kids um, thinking that you might be failing or not doing your best because you're comparing yourself to someone else's numbers or anything and don't worry about any of that stuff because that shit will block the next thing you make and you never know who's watching or what that's going to do to the landscape of music, movies, cooking, sculpture, whatever the fuck you do. So stay... You know, I seen that clip on TikTok a couple of weeks ago, or maybe like last week. And I was like, I, I should have grabbed it. And I went back and grabbed it. That's just my thing when it comes to this podcast, when it comes to me rapping, selling clothes, photography, all, DJing, all the shit that I do. I try to worry about just me. There are other podcasts that are out, some that I know of, some that I don't, some that I fuck with, some that I don't. I'm not worried about the numbers that y'all getting or the views that y'all getting. I have been the underdog around here for so long because of the, the for so long the popular thing to do has been to hate on me and talk about me for whatever new reason y'all make up because I'm not clicked up and because I do everything a one man show. Like it is what it is. Shout out to everybody who rap, who got a podcast, who got a clothing line, who DJ, who do photography, who cook, who sell plates, do hair, do nails, do taxes. I don't give a fuck what you do. Just just keep that tunnel vision and just stay focused on doing you and don't worry about what this podcast is doing or this rapper is doing. Like, oh I got I dropped my video five minutes ago. I already got thousands of views. Who gives a fuck? Like, I just sent the song to get mixed to an engineer. I'm probably going to shoot the video Friday. I haven't put out a video in God knows how long. No, that bitch not going to do numbers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I still get stopped when I'm out. I just had somebody, what the Cinco de Mayo was last Friday. Just had somebody see me while I was out on Friday. Um, I was like, yo, you might see, you know what I'm saying? I, you, you, you on my timeline, man. You, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with you. Blah, blah, blah. That shit be blowing me back. I ain't know who, I ain't know who dog was. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I appreciate it. I'm just, I'm trying to just do my thing like everybody else. Week before that, I'm at the gas station pumping my gas on the phone with James the Jedi. Some, uh, no disrespect, some white dude just keep looking at me. I'm still pumping my gas, not paying no attention. He like, hey. Ain't you Mike Cox? <laughs> Again, I'm like, you know, it's like, I don't know what he want. I'm like, yeah. It's a producer I done bought some beats from a while ago. He like, yo, I'm about to, I'm about to uh, start cooking up again. I took a little break. I'm about to send you a pack. Cool. Just you never know when somebody going to recognize you. Um, so just just keep pushing that content out, man. Even, you know, Duke Dennis um, from AMP said he was doing YouTube for a whole year. His views was trash. 
And then I think maybe that next week after that year, he started doing numbers. Just keep being consistent. Keep pushing your shit out. Keep pumping your content out, man. Fuck what people got to say. One more clip. Another, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's another clip I downloaded uh, today. One of the biggest mistakes that people make by social media is that they think quality is more important than content. It's not true. Content is more Ooh. important than quality, right? What I mean by that is that you see a lot of people in their videos and it looks like Immaculate. Steven Spielberg. Right? They got yeah, yeah, the yeah. music behind it. And lighting. Yeah, the lighting. Yeah, they're, 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 they're not talking about anything. Yeah. And then also, people care more about content. The, the, yeah. the, the example I always use is Bobby Smurda, right? That video was shot on an iPhone, mm -hmm. right? It was a catchy dance. He threw his hat in the air and never came back down. We still haven't found it. I'm lo I, I, I literally <laughs> landed in New York and looked up. Yeah. We still haven't found it. it. It never came back down. It was a good beat and just a good song. And it caught wildfire. Yeah. He didn't spend a million dollars on his video. Didn't happen. Nah. And no. He put, I mean, those days are fire. Exactly. Yeah. The, the people want what's authentic. They want what's real. And they want content. That is from Earn Your Leisure podcast. I completely agree. I didn't know Bobby Smurder shot that video on his phone. That's crazy. I know a few people that shot videos on the, off their phone or whatever. Just put the content out. I keep saying it doesn't matter if you're doing a podcast on your phone, on a DSLR camera, on a GoPro camera. Just put the content out, man. Just pump that shit out. It's not going to look the best. You're not going to have ring lights and a two expensive arcades behind you or a shelf with Funko Pops or a Chucky doll or just whatever you want the aesthetic to be. Just put the content out, man, and just stay authentic and consistent. And, man, pray. Just pray and keep the faith, man. God gonna do what he do, man. That's it. Sorry to go on a little, you know, inspirational rant. What is next? I'm trying to, let's get this get the bullshit out of the way. It was a mass shooting, um, Texas, I believe. I'm not going to play outstanding. <laughs> I hate doing the Joe Biden podcast. There was a mass shooting. I seen this clip yesterday. Six-year-old William Cho is the only surviving member of his family after they visited the Allen Outlet Mall on Saturday. So it's his it it pops. His mom, um, his pops, his mom, his brother, what's his brother name? His brother name is James, am I saying that right? Yes, I'm saying that right. So all of them passed away, and he is the only person that survived. And they were going to the mall to exchange clothes that he received for his birthday. I just feel like that's just super trash. RP to anybody who's at the mall when this um, super tragedy happened. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's something in the air. I just don't even know what possessed dogs to just go to the mall and just do some stupid sick shit like that. Like, this is crazy. And again, for me, I've worked at the mall for eight years. So like man, I, I don't man, I don't know what I would do if I was at the mall and just some some crazy shit like that popped up. So. And again, they're trying to tighten up these gun laws. These days, I don't know if I'm pro or con for a gun. Um, literally, have so many conversations about guns and where guns should be allowed and where they shouldn't be allowed. But so much shit is happening and nowadays. I don't know. I don't feel safe going nowhere without a gun. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I don't know, man. It's just stay prayed up. Um, put out good karma. And just, man, just watch your surroundings. That's number one. Watch your surroundings. I have social anxiety. My phone is my security blanket. But best in believe when I'm out and about, I'm trying to pay attention to my surroundings. Um, so, yeah, it's, pay attention. it's getting hot. You know, when they get hot, people, all the crazies that's been in the house all winter, they bringing their ass outside. Man, pay attention to your surroundings. People are not, they don't have it all the way up there. They took away these mask mandates. So we really getting back to how things were, you know, like before COVID. So just be careful. Just be mindful of your, uh, your surroundings, man. Pay attention.
with again. RIP to everybody if, um, affected by that mall shooting that took place Saturday in Texas. Man, it's crazy. What else do I have on my list? Nick Carter's mom. I just seen a screenshot. Where is that? 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 Just freaking had it. Be trying to upload it. My fault. Mom of Nick and Aaron Carter arrested for assaulting husband over TV volume. I screenshotted this because I feel like this shit is so funny. Um, it didn't give it did give details, but I didn't click the button to get the transcript. I just think it's funny because I just had a conversation with somebody about like when you're in love with somebody, you do things that you wouldn't normally do just to get out of your comfort zone and you know to show them that you're willing to try new things. And I know like I can't sleep with the TV off. Um, I don't think something like that since I was a kid. But now that I'm a dog, I just don't never had the TV off. Surprisingly, the TV is off now because I just got to the crib. But I know it's. I seen something on Facebook and somebody was like, "Oh, they always having statuses about how they can't stand people who sleep with the TV on or people who snore." And I got I got both bad. I snore bad and loud, and I go to sleep with the TV on. So. I, when I seen this article, I just thought it was funny because I can see some female knock me upside my head because I'm snoring and the fucking TV is on. I've had, we in a relationship. I had a fling with a young lady and I could never stay over at her crib because it's my snoring was just fucking disrespectful. Like, I'm, as soon as I fucking nod off, she's pushing me. For me to wake up because my story of snoring was just unbearable. So that's why I have so much love for the females who have been able. Round of applause. Round of applause to all my ex girlfriends who could endure <laughs> my snoring. I love y'all forever. Because, man. But I thought that shit was funny. All right, second half, Michael Cox podcast. Give y'all that suicide boy one more time. Let me make sure I write it on the blackboard next time. one 273 I got to stop hitting that gunshot after that. Perfect. There we go. All right. Um, last thing I have on the board, it says loneliness is just as deadly as smoking 15 cigarettes per day. Surgeon General warns. How could y'all come up with such a statistic that loneliness equals 15 cigarettes? I'm just a little baffled. I'm just a little baffled by that. Like how I, I get, I maybe stress because stress can do some shit to you for sure. I was stressed. Some years ago, and I was like sick, sick. Like it was bad. So I would, I would, I would think stress could do that quicker than loneliness. But I mean, I don't know. I don't really be too lonely like that. But I feel like it would be stress and not loneliness. But I don't know. What do I know? Uh, um, leave, leave your thoughts in the comments. Um, <laughs> leave your thoughts in the comments. Do I have any Funko Pop news? I went to the Hot Topic yesterday. I didn't see no Funko Pops. I didn't see was some shit up there. It was a Batman. Just it was a Justice League Batman. It was a Batman Hot Topic exclusive. But I didn't really see too much, and I definitely I don't recall a screenshot of any Funko Pops this week. I don't know. I don't think I had no um, Funko Pop news. See, I did screenshot this. Let's go. We did. We don't have TV talk no more because all our shows have ended. But I did screenshot this um, question. 
I got two things I screenshot it. That's why I want to get all of that out the way. All right. Say, if you had to pick three, who are you choosing? Tony from Girlfriends, Fancy from the Jamie Foxx show, Joan from Girlfriends, Maya from Girlfriends, Gina from Martin, Pam from Martin, Mona from, what the fuck was that show? Was that two and a half, I think? Dee Dee, Wanda from Bernie Mac show, Regine from Living Single, Maxine from Living Single, and Khadija from Living Single. You only could pick three. Off top. They should have added some more people. Why is Hillary and Ashley not on here? But maybe these are like older people. All right. Uh, fuck. Fancy is the first round draft pick. She wasn't like too uppity. She was like down for the ride. Cause when they talked about that one episode. When Jamie was like, what if I don't make it? And she was like, well, shit, we'll gas up the pacer and pray that we make it to Disneyland. You need somebody like that on your squad. So fancy first round draft pick for me. Um, but I picked two more. I don't want to, I'm probably not going to pick nobody from Girlfriends because Maya cheated on Dog and Joan and Tony knew. And they were trying to tell her that she needed to uh, tell Buddy that she cheated on him. But they wouldn't shit for letting Maya cheat on Dog. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think I'm picking nobody from Girlfriends. I do fuck with Tony though, but um, I'm straight. I got two more. Um, we probably go Wanda. Wanda was a great um, aunt on Bernie Mac show. So we going fancy and Wanda. Got one more. Do I dare? Do I dare say Maxine? Well, Gina and Pam. Mm, I go Gina. If I gotta go, one more. I'll go Gina, because Gina, you know, she was a ride or die. They joke, they laugh, they got along good, so. Fancy Wanda Gina, that's my, that's my three. That's my three. Leave it in the comments who your three is, why. Let me know. I got one more, I screenshot it, and this was kind of hard. I just want to say pick three, which you will go to a concert, Invo, Cut Close, 702, SWV, TLC, Escape, Changing Faces, Total, Destiny's Child. Well, I had to pick three. In Vogue off rip, because I fuck with In Vogue. Probably TLC and then Total. I'm still going to try to find that one, because it was, it was a good one. Um, damn, man, it's gone. No Funko Pop news. We do have Porn Star of the Week. Somebody who I was not up on. Who was I watching? I don't know which side I was on. Her name is. What's her name? Her name was, was that it? The name like Jordan Foss. Yeah, Jordan Foss. Jordan Foss. Go oh, crazy. I just, I don't, I stumbled across Jordan Foss this weekend. Jordan Foss go harder than paint, man, y'all. I'll check Jordan Falls out, man. She, she get busy. <laughs> she get busy. Um, what else happened this week? The white rappers are beefing. Um, I'm about to say the wrong name. What the hell is his name? I'll be having brain farts on here, bro. Hold on. Jack Harlow. Thank you. Jack Harlow came out with a project 
last week, his, his last project was like more catered to the charts. So this one was like more focused on rap. And he said he was the best white rapper out since Eminem. So immediately Mills said some, shout out to Mills. Mills can rap um, from Boston. He's nice. You know, you got MGK. Uh, who else? Who else you got? I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. I don't know, but this is pretty much the main three for me. Like, so MGK dissed Shaq Harlow, and everybody's waiting for his reply. Mills is nice. I'm not gonna just breeze by that. Like, um, he just had a sold out show in Boston, his hometown. You know, some sold out show. Jack Harlow is nice. I just really think people like don't give MCK his credit because of what um because of he tried to diss Eminem and everybody felt like Eminem ate him up. But that I should have I should have downloaded that video. MGK MGK can rap and I I don't I don't see why people act like he can't rap. Like yeah, he he does his rock projects and they go platinum and you know do big numbers, but he started out as a rapper. Like, again, I'm giving James the Jedi too many shout outs this podcast. I think he was like the main one to like put me up on MGK. MGK can rap. I'm eager to see if Jack Harlow is going to take the high road and not respond or, you know, or maybe he in the studio cooking up a diss track right now. Like, I don't know. I'm eager to see what happens from that. I'm still eager to see what's going to happen from this Jim Jones and Pusha T shit everybody like yo Pusha T is about to diss the shit out of Jim Jones for uh, saying that he don't deserve to be top 50 rappers so we, I'm, I'm eager to see I was just about to segue oh shout out to Ed Sheeran Ed Sheeran was the first artist to win his lawsuit from Marvin Gaye's family Gotta give it up to Eric Sheeran. I think they were suing him for like $5 million because they said one of his songs sounded like it was sampled by Marvin Gaye. You know, uh, they beat Robin Thicke. You know, Robin Thicke lost his lawsuit. Pharrell was connected to that. They've sued so many people for just Marvin Gaye is just one of the greats. And people will be trying to sample songs and not, and not tap in. And Marvin Gaye family gonna tap in. <laughs> But Air Sheeran won his his case. Um, gotta give it to him. I don't listen to Air Sheeran like that. But, you know, shouts out to him. He uh, I think he said he was gonna quit music if he lost the uh, if he lost the loss, so he was gonna quit music. Well, look out for the next Air Sheeran album. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna do no songs that even sound remotely close to Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye's uh, music. So shout out to him. Staying on music news, Tory Lanez, we know Tory Lanez has been in jail um, since he got found guilty of shooting Megan Thee Stallion. And he's supposed to be sentenced. He, they, were, they pushed for a new trial, but today it got denied and he will not get a new trial. And he will be sentenced June 8th, I think it said, and he is facing 22 years. I don't even know like where to start. It's just like I know he's sick. Because they both said they was drinking. You know, that she was drinking, he was drinking. It was at the party at the Kardashian house and they said Meg got upset because Kylie was flirting with him and all this other shit. Short people do have Napoleon complex, so I believe you know. Probably believe, you know, Buddy was tripping, but then they said the assistant shot Meg. So much so silly shit, man. I don't know, but 22 years. I don't know. Like, if I was to guess, I don't even want to begin to guess how many years I think dog going to get. Like he going to do some time, but how much time is the question. Um, do y'all think that the judge going to make an example out of him and just throw the book at him and give him the whole 22. Leave it in the comments. If I was just just like, oh my fam do a shit over under. 
I say, I say Tory Lanez get maybe. Oh, shit. 10 years? 10? Maybe he get out in five. Good behavior, probation. I don't know. Because he's been in trouble before. So I don't, I don't, I don't see him. I don't see him getting off like that. But again, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a, a person who do a podcast, but. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. There was something else I wanted to touch on. I got like another 15 minutes. Let's see. I'm really mad I couldn't find that shit that I tried to screenshot, bro. That shit got me sick. No, not that. I found it. One gotta go and all their music. We didn't end up on this. One has to go and all their music. Mary J. Blige, Aaliyah, Monica, Brandy, Beyonce, Rihanna. Let's carefully think about this and analyze this. I'm so glad I found it. Um, <laughs> now let's start with who's not going. You can only pick one. Um, Mary J. Blige is not going nowhere. Mary J. Blige's music resonates to me. Like you know, how, like some music you didn't understand when you was little. Like my mom played. Mary J. Blige music so much when I was little. Aretha Franklin, um, Patti LaBelle, just so much. Just er Erica Badu, like how Erica Badu like resonates to me now as a dog. I didn't understand that shit as a kid. Totally get it now. Mary J. Blige's not going nowhere. I'm gonna start with that. Aaliyah, not going nowhere. It's Aaliyah. A lot of people, oh, somebody said, sorry, Brandy, you gotta go. Uh, we ain't, I'm not going to get there just yet. Mary J. Blige is not going nowhere. Aaliyah not going nowhere. Monica. Monica got some bangers. This isn't a, a rap music podcast, so I'm not going to go all the way down the line all the songs she got. But she got some bangers. They come on a Pandora channel to listen to. Same with Brandy. Damn. Brandy, ah, fuck. I a lot of people say Rihanna when it came to this. Mary not going nowhere. Leah not going nowhere. I damn want to say Monica not going nowhere. So that would leave Beyonce not going nowhere. Like, come on now. So Mary stand, Leah stand, Monica stand, Beyonce stand. <laughs> That's fucked up. I'm about to do Brandy like that. Because I was kind of, a lot of people were saying Rihanna. I think they're just thinking of like vocal performance. But I can't, that's fucked up. It, they call them like sleepers. I don't know who house I was at, but I was listening to a Brandy song I never heard before. And that shit was fire. I, I don't know what it was. It was fire. But if I had to look at this list and see who's music I don't listen to a lot. It's Brandy's. And that's fucked up. And, and I just was watching Moesha Heavy a couple months ago. But damn, if I gotta agree, it's fucked up, man. Brandy, Brandy is out of here, man. It's fucked up. I'm sorry. But Mary gotta stay. Leah gotta stay. Monica gotta stay. Rihanna gotta stay. Beyonce gotta stay. It, it just it is what it is. Brandy, I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Moesha is my shit I hate that y'all ended Moesha the way that y'all did But Brandy gotta go God damn uh, <laughs> Anything else you need to cover Fuck Oh well, I had shouted out uh, what, what, what is her name Catherine Heichel She has a show on Netflix Called Fire uh, Hold on I'll be trying not to fuck up shit Firefly Lane. 
I fuck with Catherine Heigl. Hope I'm saying her name right. Since Knocked Up with Seth Rogen. When it comes to... I don't try to make it racy, but like cute white girls. She on my list. And the girl from... Uh, she's out of my league. I can't think of that. Her name. Catherine's on there. She on there. What other white girls? Who I just think is just cute. Jessica Simpson used to be on there. I ain't seen her... It's been a while since I've seen her. That's three. Two more white girls. That's just fine as hell to me. Damn. That's kind of tough. Fuck. I can't just think of none off the fly. It's either a singer or actress. Oh. Uh, American. American white girl on Instagram. Whatever her name is. She that deal too. I love her. That's four. One more. Damn, who that one white girl who got ass? Hillary Duff? Hillary Duff can get five. I'm the five white girls that I fuck with heavy. I might have to take Jessica Simpson off. I'm just only thinking of her off muscle memory. If I'm, if, give me your top five white girls <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> I'm about to watch this fucking uh, Boston versus Philly game. And B got MVP. We didn't talk about that. They lost that game, though. But Harden won the next game. I feel like Jokic should have got three years MVP. I'm sorry. And y'all may not agree. I just feel like they just gave it to MB. I feel Jokic has been putting up numbers, like, all season. Like, I, I don't know. I just feel like he should have got it. I just feel like they just like, here, we never gave it to you, so. <laughs> this is how I feel, man. Michael Cox Podcast. I didn't have to take so many breaks this episode to do this and do that and do this. Y'all stay tuned to the next one, man. Leave in the comments how we did. Try to stay off my phone as much as possible. Wrote the topics down on my, on my board in a minute.